Uh, we're going to be doing problem 15 from the fundamentals of chapter 12. Um, here they, they give us the x and y components of the particle's velocity. So we're given uh, vx as a function of time. Right? So it's going to look something, you know, very velocity. And this is time. It's going to be a very steep slope. Right, so that's what the velocity is going to look like, and we know that um, the acceleration is going to be flat. All right, I know they don't ask for acceleration, but I just want you guys to understand the relationships. Okay, and then here we have the y component of the velocity, and it's just constant. <clears throat> okay, so for y, we have a constant 8 meters per second, right? and then zero acceleration because it's going at constant speed. All right, so now determine the equation of the path y equals, or they, they want the position function, um, or I guess the, the equation of the position function in the y direction as a function of x, okay? so. That means we need to get the position function for x, right? What's x? And then uh, what is the position function for y? All right, so in order to do x, we know that uh, v, or I guess vx is dx dt. Okay, so we want to just integrate once. Let's do that real quick. Oh yeah, and this is dt, boom, boom, and it's at the origin at time equals zero, okay? So 32, oops, can't write, so 32, integrate this once, 32 squared over 2 um, <coughs> equals x, which is also equals 216t squared, okay? And if we know these relationships, you know that your position function should be a parabola, right? So your slope here is changing at a constant rate, right? So that's why we see this, okay? So that is our position function, right? And then what about for y? Well, for y, if we integrate once, we're just gonna get a constant uh, times the variable t. So we have uh, vy equals dy dt, and then 8 dt equals dy, right? <clears throat> and then we have 8t equals y. But we want it, we want the position function in the y direction as a function of x, right? So in order to do that, let's isolate Let's isolate t here and then substitute it into the y equation. So ultimately we get y equals 8 times square root of x over 16, which is 8 square root of x over 4, which is ultimately equal to y 2 times square root of x. Okay? And then that's pretty much it. So if you know if we had gotten it in reverse, if we had gotten 8t and 32 for the bx, you know, you just plug in the y into the x and so on. Alright. So basically, you know, you want to start out by just setting up your problem. Just write down what you know. Write down their differential format of um, <clears throat> or yeah, their, their differential uh, um, way of writing the position function, the velocity function, right, for both of these, and then utilize what you already have, all right? Hope this video helped, guys. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.